Hi, welcome to Wikitiki and Cash and Drug. This is Venkat here. Today, I'm going to talk about the great technology that is your .NET Core, which is a very powerful Microsoft platform for cross-platform compatibility. That's why, like you, they created the .NET. We talk about .NET. .NET is a very powerful technology, and the opportunities are really huge. People start learning .NET. So many companies are looking for .NET trained candidates from our company, and many candidates got placed via the .NET technology. Go with .NET and build your profile. You will get job for sure, and you can enter the. IT industry and welcome to Kashiv Infotech. So our company, we are providing internships and courses via online and offline. You can reach us for any kind of help, and we are helping towards technology. Okay, these are the contact numbers. You can reach me via my Insta account. Click the follow button, and you can reach me. And I congrats all the Kashiv who trained the students to get uh, to enter into the IT industry. Let's talk about the technology hotel building project. I want to build a project. In that case, we started building a project via the Windows-based kind of application, a desktop application, which is not an OS-specific uh, application and is not friendly. That is the biggest problem. That's why, like, we are looking for an application which can be friendly with other operating system also, not only Windows to any other operating system. It should be good. That is called as cross-platform compatibility. A friend with other operating system. If you became a friend, it's really good, and you can spread the technology to multiple people. So. So your website should be working in multiple operating system so everything is awesome that's why like they introduce the concept of dotnet core so dotnet framework and dotnet core are the two areas created by microsoft for building the applications so dotnet framework focus only on the windows applications so windows based operating system whereas this guy is compatible with the cross platform so it can be work in any operating system let's talk about the history of dotnet core initially we got dotnet framework from there you got two divisions one is dotnet framework advanced and over here you got dotnet core you got dotnet core 1.0 2.0 3.0 you got multiple versions and microsoft decided why we need this core man let's have the same concept in framework itself so you got the frameworks now so dot no no more dotnet core they call it as framework now let's talk about how the dotnet framework works you got multiple code and they got individual compilers convert to dl and exes and tit compiler convert a native code and it is getting executed in the machine code so this is how your code works your high level language converted in the machine level code whereas the same concept will be executed in dotnet core via the rosalind compilers you got the individual programs and rosalind compilers will be there converted here you got the code fx is the library which is used for cross platform compatibility and you got a specialized compiler that is called core cl ru with jit compilers and converted to machine code there is no concept of native code and all man so this is the difference between the dotnet framework and dotnet core dotnet framework is heavy with a lot also of libraries whereas this guy will be taking it from nuget packages and whenever they want they can take it so it is very fast because the size is smaller people and if you talk about the dotnet framework and dotnet core this guy will focus on only one operating system this guy can work focus on multiple operating system the biggest problem with the dotnet framework is like it is highly like highly mixed with the other people in the operating system if this is, needs to be upgraded is very tough whereas dotnet core it is not dependent on anyone and individual software so this is how the applications are created every application will need specific libraries so it depends on the applications the framework will be created okay this is how you, this concept is called fragmentation my core will be having a specialized command line interfaces uh, that is called dotnet exe this is a special command line interface uh, which will make the entire process and system very fast it really fast okay so that is called dotnet exe let's have the upgraded uh, dotnet architecture over here as i told you got the dotnet framework and dotnet core we are able to create wpf windows forms asp.net via the dotnet framework whereas asp.net 5 universal windows apps these kind of things can be created with the dotnet core and it got the compatibility to multiple operating system these two people are sharing the runtime component compilers and nuget packages everything they are utilizing let's see a small demo of how these applications are created so it's my visual studio 2022 so you got two kind of things asp.net core web app with the mbc mode mbc and you got a core web app and you are able to see in the right side multiple applications can be created with the dotnet core let's have one application created i'll take my console application just give the name and everything now i'm going to store it let's have like framework selection and once it is done you are able to create an application now i'm going to create an application yeah basic console application so while creating this application i was really shocked because usually we'll be having yeah like uh, you'll be having the namespaces followed by you can have uh, uh, maybe the class programs from in to that we will be 
you write the program. What was shocked in Donald Trump? It's very different. The same structure. The code is very simple. Certainly, no classes and all. I don't have any classes directly. They have written the code. I'm trying to execute it to see whether it works or not. I'm trying to check it out. Okay, so like I'm trying to build it. I'm running the application. You are able to see it here. So no class programming, man. That is really like I was literally shocked to see the class, the class and syntax is entirely removed in the latest versions in .NET Core. You can see it here. I got the console application, the output. Yes, I got the output now. So this is how your .NET Core works. Okay, so hope you got an idea. If you want to learn more on how to create a .NET Core application, just go to this link. I'll put this link in the description and the first command, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. You just scroll down to the bottom. A lot of tutorials on .NET. Learn everything, people. Learn everything. I'll put this link in the first command also. I'm putting this .NET Core now. Just scroll down, scroll down. So I've written a person. I've written this article. Scroll down. You are able to see the basic steps of how to create your .NET Core application. The entire code I've given. Okay, so utilize it and learn it as much as you can. And for uh, thanks for watching this video. This is Mangat signing off from Wikitiki and Kashmir Protect.